I got a video request in Discord to cover Rivian stock. If you want me to cover your ticker, you know where to find me. Ticker symbol R-I-V-N. Let's first start off with the charts. Off rip, Rivian stock looks like a failing company based on the chart. You never want to see an IPO and just sell off completely. A lot of times you see this with IPOs, but it would have been better to just hold sideways at the valuation that they came out as like Tesla, for example. Obviously, Tesla is an outlier, but you get what I'm saying. However, Rivian doesn't look all that bad, at least where it's trading at right now. $16.77, up 3.5% on the day. We are sitting on the weekly time frame, and we have the Fib retracement drawn out on Rivian, showing that it's either going to head for new lows or head up to the $40 level, which is at the 236, which is also 136% to the upside from where we're trading at right now. With that being said, the lows of Rivian are around $12. So you're sitting between $12 and $40. Your risk to reward looks decent but it's always risky when you don't know where the bottom is. At this point, jumping into Rivian, you are hoping to time the bottom. I will say it's picking up more volume lately. Good thing to see as long as you get a breakout. Right now, it's in a falling channel. Usually a bullish thing to see once it breaks to the upside. However, previously was in a falling channel broke below, came up, broke back up, and is now in a higher channel. So as of right now, you could say Rivian is making higher highs and higher lows from $12 to $13.50 to bounce where we're at now at $15. Short term, looking good. Analyst expectations are positive. They give it a buy rating, at least over on TradingView, up 58% to $26.62 or a max of $40, which brings it up to that 236, which is also up over 130%. Both analyst ratings looking solid, chart looking decent in the short term, okay? In the long term, the fall looks dangerous. However, this could be a good investment, not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor. It could be a good investment where it's trading at right now, seeing that the IPO climbed to well above $160. So you're getting the stock more than 50, 60, 70% off, right? Not only that, Rivian earnings, what the hell is going on with Rivian? Their earnings year over year look solid, up 150% on revenue, up 20% on net income, diluted DPS up 23%, net profit margin up about 70, operating income 18, net change in cash up 21%, and the cost of revenue up almost 25%. So they beat on EPS by 10% on the last earnings call and revenue by 2.3%. Now this is a slightly lower beat than previously. However, this is exactly what you want to see from a company that was missing on revenue or missing on earnings per share to a company that started to be on revenue be on earnings per share take a look at competitors like lucid for example they are still in the red so when you see Rivian overtake competitors this is really where you want to start paying attention to it obviously the number one competitor is Tesla but just like these articles are saying could investing in Rivian at $16 be like buying Tesla stock 10 years ago who knows however the falling chart the failing company perspective on the technical side of things could be over depending on how solid these earnings come out over the next few months or over the next few years right plus analysts give it a buy rating and there's no reason to give it a sell rating let's touch on the previous news Rivian automotive to raise 15 billion dollars in bonds to fund construction of EV manufacturing plant in Georgia the joint development authority of Jasper Morgan Newton and Walton counties will issue the project's bonds that Rivian has agreed to buy as they become available. Plus, Rivian as a company said it also signed a rental agreement with the JDA under which the EV maker will rent the JDA land in Morgan and Walton counties, as well as buildings, machinery, and equipment for the plant. They also agreed to pay a minimum of $300 million in property tax until 2047 when the rental agreement expires. Clearly, Rivian reacted positively. So, positive news for Rivian, but not only that, when you see a company with slightly low trading volume and trading at a very low valuation, at least compared to the IP you really want to see a lot of catalysts come out because it shows that the company is making moves. The less and less news a company has, the more they're probably going to die as a stock listed in the market. However, on the flip side, Rivian confesses to over-the-air update mess. We messed up. Hey, newsflash, who cares? Rivian messed up on a few things not too good in the short term. Some customers weren't really happy, but guess what? The company's reaching out to them and getting everything resolved. Not such a huge issue. Tesla had the self-driving cars crashing and malfunctioning, which is a much bigger issue. If you really want to compare it to big problems, then there's a big problem to compare it to. I don't really do this, but on a scale of 1 to 10 investment-wise, based on the earnings, based on the low valuation and the analyst expectations from where it's trading at right now, I wouldn't mind investing a few percentages of my portfolio into Rivian. I'd give it probably a five or six out of 10 from where it's trading at right now. Once Rivian breaks above 40, a clean break, and it starts scaling up from there, I think it's gonna be a solid company to hold for 
10 years or so. As of right now, still a little skeptical because of how the chart is beaten down. Overall, that is my Rivian video. If you want to request your own video, join the Discord server. It's right under the description and pinned in the top comments. Also, go follow me on Frenetically. Go to this link, sign up on Frenetically, and follow me. Plus, 16 free stocks, $400 cash, and a 5% return on uninvested cash by using my link, signing up for Moomoo, and making a deposit. You get the 400 cash if you transfer stocks into Moomoo, you get the free stocks if you make a deposit, and you get the 5% APY for your money sitting in Moomoo. That is what I got for you guys for today's video. I love you all. Make sure to go watch this video that I just posted on AMC. I love you all. Lottery Socks out.